Sup guys, today we're going to be going through Facebook ads for Shopify, dropshipping and pretty much any e-commerce store. We're going to dive deep into this stuff today. I've got a presentation lined up so we'll go to the office in a moment. But if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to be going click by click through the exact ad strategy that you can use to generate more revenue for pretty much any e-commerce product out there. Now if you don't know me, my name's Jordan Platten and I own Affluent.co which is a multi-service digital marketing company here in the UK. I don't own any Shopify or dropshipping stores of my own but I've literally generated millions in new revenue for e-commerce companies companies all over the globe over the last couple of years through my marketing agency, The Affluent Agency. I've also taught thousands and thousands of other agency owners how to replicate these results for their own clients through our training program, The Affluent Academy, which is an online digital marketing training program with over 100 lessons, 40 hours of content. So if you want to dive really deep into this stuff, click the link in the description and check that out after this video. Now, finally, I just want to say thank you to invideo.io for sponsoring this video today. Invideo is an online editing video editing software which you can use to create amazing adverts or any kind of video content online. We're going to be diving a bit into that later on in this video when we go through ad creation. But apart from that, I think that's all the formalities over. If you're watching this video, please do make sure you're subscribed with your notification bell turned on. I pride myself in giving more away for free than other people have you pay for. And that's it. Let's go down to the office and get started on this video today. Get your notepad ready because this is going to be a big one. Okay, so diving straight in, we have an introduction to Facebook ads for e-commerce stores. So our learning objectives after completing this video today, I want you to understand all of these things. And firstly, I want you to understand the foundations of a successful Facebook ad strategy. And that's what we're going to be going through in this quick presentation now. Now, you're also going to be able to confidently build a strategy for your e-commerce store, create professional ad creatives without any design experience. That's when InVideo come in. And finally, I want you to be able to scale winning campaigns. It's all well and good being able to start a campaign, getting it converting, but how are you going to scale up that store? How are you going to hit six figures, seven figures on a monthly basis? That's what we're going to cover towards the end of this video. So uh, firstly, I want to show you a couple of results that we've got for our clients, the Affluent Agency. Now, I want to put this into context for you. These are some smaller clients of ours because I'm guessing a lot of you guys will maybe only just be starting out in e-commerce or maybe starting out in your agency. So I want to show you some more modest results because this is what you want to scale up to as quickly as possible. So here we've got a client you can see from June the 1st to June the 30th. That's right now as of recording this video this month. We've increased their sales by 64% to £56,000 through Facebook ads using the strategies we're going to go through today. Here's another one we've got 80,000 in sale over the same period we've got a 41% increase in online store sessions that's the amount of people that are actually visiting their websites all through Facebook ads so why should you use Facebook advertising now it goes without saying 80% of the internet users use Facebook okay there's not many people out there that don't use Facebook these days it literally has taken over the entire social media game 93% of marketers use Facebook as well we recognize that there are millions and millions and millions of people all over the world that are using this platform and so all marketers realize this is a huge opportunity for advertising 1.9 billion people that we can reach potentially on the platform and the average cost per click on Facebook so cost to get somebody to visit your website is only 80 cents and the CPM which is cost per reaching a thousand people is just five dollars on average okay we've got the sources at the bottom here now, firstly, I want to touch on the structure of the Facebook Business Manager. This is where you actually manage your adverts. I'm going to presume you already have a rough idea of how to create Facebook ads. If you don't, then click the link somewhere above this video. I created an entire, around a 45-minute long video going through exactly everything you need to know to set up your first Facebook advert, from creating your account to setting up your card details and all of that stuff. So go watch that after this video. But we have the Business Manager, we have the Ads Manager, we have Ad Account, Ad Campaign, Ad set an ad. Now just touching on this really briefly, the business manager is the umbrella above the Facebook ad manager, okay? This is where we manage our entire business online. We then have our advert manager, okay? This is our ad manager which hosts all of our ad accounts. We have an ad account if we're an agency for every single client. So if you've got multiple businesses, you want to have one individual ad account for each of those businesses to keep things nice and clean. Inside of those ad accounts, we then have our campaigns, which is our objective. This is what we want to achieve. Do we want to drive traffic to somewhere else? Do we want to get conversions and sales? Or do we want to get likes, comments, and shares? Then we have our ad set, which is our targeting. What area do we want to target? What interest do we want to target? Uh, do we want to target maybe a lookalike audience of existing customers? And then finally, we have our ads. This is what our ads actually look like. This is the creatives and this is the text that we are using. And it, what essentially our customers see on their Facebook nude feeds. Again, make sure you look at that video after this we literally break down everything step by step i don't want to have to go through that to today again because it's going to be a two hour long video and uh, yeah we're going to jump in pretty much at the mid level 
So the Facebook pixel. If you don't know what the Facebook pixel is, it's a piece of code that you place directly on your website and it allows you to track conversions on your website. It essentially lets Facebook know what your customers or what people are doing on your website, whether they're buying, what links they're clicking, like what they're doing and who they actually are. And what this enables us to do is create adverts and retarget those people who are visiting our website. This is so essential that when you're creating any kind of an e-commerce store, if you're working with an e-commerce business, or you are launching a Shopify store of your own, you set up the pixel right away. And on Shopify, it's really easy. All you need is your pixel code and you need to go into your settings. I think it's under tracking codes and just paste that code in here and Shopify will set up the rest for you. Really, really easy to use, but it's an essential way of advertising or essential component of advertising because it allows us to build up a pool of data, which is just going to get better and better and better with time. Now, why do you need to use a pixel? We touched on a couple of these things. You'll be easily able to understand your customer's sales journey and you'll be able to fix sales conversion problems. So maybe people are visiting your website, you're noticing there's a lot of traffic, but for whatever reason, they're not buying your product. That might mean or outline to us that there's something wrong with your actual sales page and you might need to adapt that. Now, the more conversions on your website, the easier it will be for Facebook to optimize your ads. So the more times that people buy your products, the more Facebook are gonna learn what kind of people are actually buying your product so it can better serve your adverts to those people and get you more sales. And then finally, the most important thing here is retargeting. We want to retarget people who visit your website and get them back on your website to buy the product they looked at earlier on if they didn't do it right away. And I'm just outlining this in this infographic here. So we've got a user, this is one of your ideal customers they visit your website they leave it for whatever reason maybe their kids come home maybe they're distracted maybe something happened and for whatever reason they didn't buy your product then they get remarketed later on maybe they sit on the toilet maybe they're on the sofa and they see an ad which is showing them the exact product that they just saw right they're going to go back and they're going to visit your website and hopefully when they visit your website this time they're going to buy your product without the facebook pixel you literally cannot do this so you need a facebook pixel set up right away so let's look at a top down of the funnel, okay? The funnel is essentially the way we are gonna convert customers from uh, cold traffic into somebody who's actually bought your product, into somebody who's what we call a promoter in marketing, somebody who actually sells your product for you. They're telling your friend, their friends, they're telling their family, they're telling everyone around you, them about your product and therefore they're upselling people onto your product for you. So we've got people into the top of this funnel here, okay? We're driving traffic through adverts and we can do this by using audience warming ads. Okay, this could be like a video views ad. This could be an engagement ad. This is some kind of brand awareness advert that we are running. Maybe it's a product demo or something along them lines. And we just want to make people see for the first time what products we have to offer and why they actually need that product. We could then remarket those people with some kind of cold traffic conversion ad. It could be a carousel ad, which is multiple images or videos. This could be a single video. This could be a single image. But what we want to do is we want to then try and get people to actually convert. So we use the campaign type conversion version and we let Facebook know we want people to buy our product okay this is after we've already warmed them up and you don't have to warm them up every time it depends on the product that you're actually selling we then can retarget visitors and add to cart so we can retarget people who have visited your website and have added your product to cart and or with more conversion ads or a dynamic product ad which is essentially an advert which shows someone the exact product that they have viewed on your website okay that is the creme de la creme of e-commerce advertising we then get that purchase so they become a customer. But beyond that, a lot of people think that their funnel ends here when they've gained a customer. And that's not true. The funnel ends when that person becomes a promoter, when we can cross sell them to other products or we can upsell them to other products or they can upsell our products for us. That's where the funnel really ends. So this is kind of a top down of an e-commerce funnel. I'd recommend you screenshotting this and really getting to grips with how you can convert people on your product, how you can turn people into customers and then into promoters. So I'm going to be diving into the actual strategy that you can use uh, on Facebook ads for your e-commerce store, for your Shopify store uh, right now. And what we're going to do after we've gone through this is I'll actually show you exactly how you can set this up. So don't worry if this is a little bit high level for some of you guys who haven't run ads before at the moment. But if you remember, inside the ads manager, we have our campaigns, we have our ad sets and our ads. And that's what I'm laying out here. And essentially what I recommend you doing for any e-commerce store, for any one product store, or when you're trying to sell one item or one product, I would recommend you doing a two campaign strategy but with free ads inside. And I've color coded this to make this a little bit easier. So these, this, this blue here is cold. 
This orange here is warm, so this is a warmer audience, and the red here is a hot audience. This is proper remarketing. This is a completely cold campaign, and this is more warm. This is retargeting this campaign here. So I'm just going to move that to the side. And I'm just going to explain this in a bit more depth. So we have two campaigns. One of them is cold, as we just said. One of them is warm. And uh, then we got the hot as well on there as well. So it's still just two campaigns. We have three audiences here. So we've got ad set one, which is audience one, audience two, and audience three. Okay. But we only actually have two adverts. We've got advert one and advert two because creative two, advert two can be used twice. It's a remarketing advert. It's a retargeting advert. We can use the exact same creative. That's no problem with doing that whatsoever. If you want to make a different creative, you can, you can tweak the message slightly, but from experience, you don't really have to do that. Now, this strategy is based on warming an audience first, although all these ads are built for sales. You notice that we're not doing a video views campaign or an engagement campaign. We're going straight in with conversion right away because as an e-commerce store owner or as a Shopify store owner, you want to get sales right away. You want to get ROI right away so you can scale up your adverts as quickly as possible and hit that seven or six figure a month point. Now, breaking this down even more, ad set one or audience one should be the lowest hanging fruit always, okay? When we are marketing ourselves, we always want to go for the lowest hanging fruit. So if we're already making sales, if we've got existing traffic, maybe we have an existing customer list, we want to create what's called a lookalike audience on Facebook. Now, what this is, it's an audience where Facebook find people who look alike to an existing data pool. So if you have an existing customer list, then you can create a lookalike audience from that. If you are completely cold as a brand new store, then you're just going to have to choose the best interest that you can find. And we're going to go through some interests when we create these ads in a moment. Now, that's the cold stuff out of the way. So then we have ad set two. This is audience two. This is remarketing or retargeting ad one. Okay, so what we're essentially doing is we're going to retarget the video views from advert one, because we always want to start our customer journey with some kind of a video, maybe it's a product demo, right? We're going to be showing somebody exactly how they can use this product, what why it best serves them why they need this thing in their life and they didn't need it beforehand, right? So we want to target the people who have actually watched that video and have shown a keen interest in that product. And we're going to show them another advert and try and get them to actually convert on this product this time around. So we're showing them a secondary advert. Now, finally, we have ad set three. This is the really hot advert. This is going to be retargeting website page views and also add to carts. So this is the hottest people. These are the hottest leads possible, right? These are the people that have visited the website. These are people that added the product to the cart. And we want to get them back to the website so they can actually buy this. Okay, so this is a top down demonstration of this strategy, but I'm going to be showing you right now exactly. Well, not right now in a second. We're going to be going through exactly how you can actually set these up. Now, I just want to touch on Facebook ad budget because it's really important. There's a lot of confusion around this. I recommend that you always start Facebook ads on £5 per day minimum, okay? $5 per day per advert. You never want to go lower than that just because it gets really messy. You're not going to reach enough people and you're not going to be getting any sales. Now, also, as a rule of thumb, you should be willing to spend 20 times your product's listing price. So whatever you're selling your product for, you should be willing to spend 20 times that price as your overall budget for the month, right? To be able to test enough to actually sell your product. So for example, if your product is $20, times that by 20, we've got $400 budget, okay? So many people think that maybe they're selling a $20 project, products, they can just spend $100 on ads and it's gonna be enough money. The reality of it is, it isn't. You need to allow yourself a testing phase when you're running any kind of advertising. You need to find out what audiences work the best, who's gonna respond best to your adverts and who's actually going to buy. And so to do that, we need to have a big enough budget. So allow around 20 times your product's listing price. And yes, that means if you're selling a high ticket product, which is a thousand pounds, you need to be allocating around 20 grand to be able to find the perfect audience for you to be able to scale up. So that's giving you a bit of an understanding on Facebook ad budget. Of course, we dive into all of this stuff much more in depth in the Affluent Academy. We are limited with our time today. I'm conscious I don't want this to be hours and hours for you guys. I want this to be as actionable as possible. Now, finally, content is king. We are going to be diving into content today. Cold ads, I always recommend, should be a demo video, as, I just mentioned pre as I've mentioned previously. A video is going to grab your attention on your newsfeed. It's going to kind of have that stop scroll effect. So you're going to be looking down thinking, okay, what is this? Uh, and if it's something that you're interested in, you're going to watch that video. You want to always be mindful that you're showing the product in the best light. Think about if you've never seen the product before, what are the USPs? What are the unique selling points? What is it that would make you, as a potential customer, 
customer want to stop and watch that video and make sure that you have that in whatever promo video. There's a, you can never spend too much time making sure you've got good promotional content for your cold adverts. Now, retargeting adverts should always be on the flip side, very, very simple and to the point. You don't need to do some really in-depth demo video for a retargeting advert because all you're trying to do is just say, hey, you've seen this product, go buy it, go make that purchase. So don't create any unnecessary barriers. And again, thank you to InVideo for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be breaking down how you can create some content for both cold ads and for retargeting ads very, very shortly. So in that, on that note, uh, I thought I had more size, but we don't. So on that note, we're gonna go in practice. I'm now gonna go onto the Facebook Ads Manager and let's actually set up this campaign right now. And we're gonna have to find a random e-commerce store. I haven't got a Shopify store lined up. So we will find one and we will build out a strategy for it right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do today is actually find a Shopify store. I need to find a product which we can advertise and use this strategy for. So I'm on Google, I'm gonna find a Shopify store right now, a product. Uh, if you run an agency, by the way, this is a great way to find potential clients. You go over to Google, type in site colon myshopify.com and then any keyword, so this could be gadgets, it's going to bring up all the Shopify sites with that keyword within them. This is page after page. Of course, you'll have to go through them individually, work out whether you want to reach out to them, but it's a great prospecting technique, okay? Uh, this only obviously works for Shopify stores. Um, let's do beauty gadgets today, though, okay? Because we're on gadgets. This is a massive trend at the moment. Beauty products are all over the place, and there's adverts all over Facebook. So let's do this. Uh, what have we got? Beauty and wellness gadgets, terms of service, blah, blah, blah. Number one for health and beauty gadgets. Kingpin Online, never heard of it. Let's have a look. Um, what have we got? Okay, typical Shopify store here. Blackhead Remover. Oh, where's that gone? Uh, Blackhead Remover. I like those. These are, I haven't used one, but I've seen these adverts everywhere. These ones here, seventeen ninety eight. Good price point. Let's have a look at this. Uh, so these are them ones that have like the suction and it kind of goes in on your nose and pulls all the blackheads out. Uh, there's loads of adverts. You've probably seen them around. That price point is definitely incorrect. That said $17.98 a moment ago, $17, not $179,000. So they need to fix that. This is a good, by the way, guys, reach out to this company. Let them know that their pricing is wrong on their website. Uh, this could be a good potential client for any of you guys. Uh, so, but we're going to use this anyway, forget, regardless of the price point. I know that's meant to be $17.98. So I'll create content around this and we will follow the ad strategy that we've just gone through. So we're going to go through this strategy. And the first ad we're going to create is this cold ad here, the conversion campaign, right? So go back over to Safari. Now you need to go to business.facebook.com to create adverts. That's where you're going to create your business manager account. Again, I'm going to presume you already know how to do that. Click the link above. If you don't, there's a 40 minute video literally setting you up on Facebook and creating your first advert. It teaches you all the basics. We don't need to go through that right now again. So hit login. I'm logging on my brother's account because it's a completely clean slate account. I don't risk meddling with anything on my client accounts. And I'm just going to log in on here and go to the account manager. Okay, so this is an ad account I like to use for testing. You've probably seen this on my YouTube before. We're going to go over to create and we're going to create that first advert. We're going to use a conversion campaign objective and that essentially tells Facebook we want people to convert in a certain way. Now for us to decide that or allow Facebook to do that, we need to have the Facebook pixel already set up on the website. Now, of course, we don't own this website, so we can't set this up. Um, but uh, yeah, for demonstration purposes, let's presume we already have the Facebook pixel set up. We want to name this so we could do this cold conversions if we want to. Cold conversions could be blackhead remover. Okay, and let's say what's the price point was seventeen fifty. Okay, let's do the price point on ten pounds per day to start off with. Okay, because. Um, Around £10 per day, I mean, we, we, let's presume that we're going to be getting, or even we can start this off on £5 per day, because on the 17 50 price point, we should be getting a cost per purchase of below £5, all right, okay? It needs to be, ideally, you want to be spending a maximum of like 20% of the product price on the actual purchase, okay? So let's just do £5 per day, and that should mean that we're getting a purchase per day during our testing phase. We're going to hit continue. And this is our ad set, so this is where we're actually going to choose what we want, uh, to, who we want to target for this advert. So on the pixel, we're going to set this as purchase. Now, of course, this isn't the actual pixel for the website, but we want this to be a purchase, okay? So we want this to optimize for purchases. Then we want to go down onto our interest-based targeting. Now, the biggest mistake that people make 
when they are creating cold adverts when they're first starting out is that they make the audience too niche. Now, firstly, if you already have an existing data pool, you have existing traffic, you have access to an existing pixel, you want to create a lookalike audience for this cold advert. That's what you want to be making for this cold advert. If not, you want to choose the best interest that you can think of, but it wants to be broad, okay? So choose the best selling location for your product, okay, based on your existing data or based on where you are at the moment. So in this instance, we're going to do the United Kingdom, but you always want to make sure it's your best selling location, not worldwide. Start off with, you can always go in, into other countries. Keep the age range open. And yes, I know 65 plus, it's unlikely that those people are going to be actually using this blackhead remover. They might be a bit dubious of the technology or whatever. But that being said, we don't know that. So let's keep it broad. We can always narrow down as we start analyzing. Again, all genders. The likelihood of lots of men using this is pretty slim. So it's probably going to be more women that are using this. Um, just stereotyping there. Um, but I'm going to presume that it's going to be more women that are interested in using this blackhead remover than it is men. And so... We could go just women, but again, I would like to keep it broad and at least then we can analyze afterwards. Then let's go on to the uh, detailed targeting. So let's actually choose an interest here. So let's go really broad and go with beauty. Okay, again, we want to keep it broad and we can always narrow it down further than there. We want this audience to be somewhere around the 500,000 to 3 million point. And uh, beauty actually is way too big at this point. It's saying 31,000. So let's get rid of that and let's get a smaller, a, a smaller one. So let's have a look at maybe skincare. Let's get rid of beauty. And that's around 8 million. What about, what else is there? What's beautiful skin? How big is this one? 4 million. Okay, that's that's manageable. We can use 4 million, right? If we have a larger budget, we could use something like beauty. Or if we have a larger budget, we can use one of these with like 8 million people potential reach in there. Um, but at the moment, we're only, we're only really playing around with five a day. So we can always test out larger audience later on. You do not want to stack multiple interests when you are far, first starting out. Always just choose one interest. Because if you have, let's say we have, we put three other interests in here, right? We're not going to know whether or which interest is actually getting the conversions on this advert. So we need to have just one interest so we know that that one interest is what works. So test out one interest at a time, this is key, and then write down what results you get. Keep a log of that so you know exactly what interests are getting you the conversions. Keeping this ultra board here. Languages wise, we can have do all languages because this is not a product which requires you to speak English or anything like that. Um, now, for the purpose of this, we're also going to do automatic placements to start off with, right? Um, this is a little bit controversial because a lot of people say, hey, look, you should just do the Facebook news feed when you are running your adverts. And um, that is that is because those adverts look the most like a organic post on Facebook. But I recommend you starting off organic on your first ever adverts because what it allows us to do again is work out. It allows Facebook to do the work and it allows us to establish where people are best responding to this product because we do not know that until we actually test it. So we can't presume that people are going to convert best on Facebook newsfeed. Now, Eight, nine times out of ten, it ends up that Facebook nude feed is the place that people convert the most. But we might find that Instagram news feed is where people are converting much better. So the only way to really know this is by keeping it on automatic placements. And after the first week, then we work out what placements, where people are buying, where people are clicking. And then we dumb down into the, the, the placements uh, that are actually converting the most. So keep it broad, then narrow down as a general rule of thumb. Click continue. So that's our ad set done. And now we actually get to choose the creative. Okay, we're going to choose the creative for this advert. So again, we're just going to name this advert cold. Let's just go back on that. Cold conversions. This is black head remover. Why is my computer being slow for? And this is going to be a demo video. Okay, I don't have a demo video right now, but I'm going to have to find one. And we're going to have to select an Instagram page. Now, of course, uh, Ollie, I'm sorry, I'm not actually going to run this advert on your page. So don't worry about this if you're watching this video, right? I'm not going to actually run this. Uh, single image or video, this is what we want to do. So we want to do a demo video as we went through in our strategy as a general rule of thumb. And in fact, guys, I haven't got a demo video right now. So just uh, give me two seconds and I'm going to find a demo video for this product right now. Okay, so I'm back in the room. That was nice and quick. Uh, I actually found a demo video on YouTube. This is like an influencer using this. Uh, so this isn't my content. We technically can't run this as an ad uh, but here we have this uh, this uh, this influencer let's just pretend it is my content we've got this influencer who is using this product and uh, it's showing us the nitty-gritty the dirty blackheads which are being pulled out of his nostrils 
not that it's an Austral tab, it's not. <laughs> um, so this is, a, this is the perfect kind of video, right? We want to show people this is what the product does. This is how it works. This is why you need this. And people, everyone get these little blackheads in their nose and stuff. And so it's like, okay, this is what, this is what it does. This is how it works. You need this product. So um, we've got that demo video and we can now choose our actual ad copy. So what are the benefits they've listed? Remember, we want to put the main benefits in this. The, when you're writing ad copy, the key is to have an attention grabber. We want to have a what, a why, and then a call to action. Okay, We want to tell people when I grab that attention right away because when people are scrolling through their news feeds, you need to, need to, need to uh, get their attention or pull them away from whatever it is they're doing, which is probably sat on the toilet just looking uh, at, at cat videos or something along that line. So um, primary text, let's go for uh, blackhead it's blackhead one word yeah blackhead removal um, from home or something along them lines right and oh that's a timer on my phone uh, blackhead removal from home let's use some kind of emoji what have we got what have we got is there something to do with beauty is there um What's, what emojis have we got? Let's just do this. Let's just do the fire emoji for now, okay? Black and removal from home. Let's add um, some features, five adjustable suction levels, uh, poor vacuum suction, uh, one-click design. What have we got? What have we got? Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so let's do crystal clear skin without visiting the salon right is it a salon do you skin salons without without visiting a clinic without visiting a clinic five I'm just making this up on the spot guys i'll probably put a little bit more effort into this if i was doing it myself uh five suction levels one click design is that what it says five suction levels one click design okay let's just go for that Five suction levels, one click design. Click below. Actually, no, I'm not even going to do that. Click below. Okay, we can ch move the call to action elsewhere. I want to keep this. What's really key is when you're actually creating an advert, you want to try and, especially if it's your first ever cold advert, you want to try and make sure people don't need to click this see more button here. Okay, so if we were, if we view this on a different, so this is Facebook news feed. This is actually mobile at the moment. But if we can, how can we do this? Um, Facebook move this all the time. So what have we got? Uh, let's go on Instagram feed. Let's go back on here, expand this further so we can see what this looks like on desktop, right? We don't want people to have to click the see more button, uh, generally speaking. We want people to be able to see this like right away, okay? We want people to be able to see what it is we are trying to say to them without having to click that little see more button so they need to read more text. So let's keep this nice and simple. We've got the, we've got the attention grabber and we've got the what here, okay? So we've got what it actually is. So we've got blackhead removal from home, crystal clear skin without visiting a clinic, five section le suction levels, one click design. And the video is pretty much explaining everything. What more do people need to know right now? Add the headline so we can put in uh, what's it called? Black head remover vacuum. Right? And then we can do, uh, it's just going to throw up, essentially, that, that uh, headline there is going to throw up the text just below the link. And then we can just take the website link. So we've got the product. And we've got the website URL, so paste that in there. And this should then add another tab underneath. Okay, so we've got blackhead, um, blackhead remover vacuum. Okay, it's a really weird name for the product. I don't know what to call this, a, a blackhead remover vacuum. It's a bit strange, uh, but we're going to go with that. And there we go. We can add a description below this if we want to, which adds some more text below. Um, we could add like the five suction levels, one click design. But for now, we're just going to leave this off here. But the key thing is with grabbing people's attention, we have the actual demo um, the actual demo video, which is showing people what this product is. Call to action here. We can put learn more or we can put get offer or uh, we could do, um, what else have we got? Uh, shop now, for example. Let's just do learn more though, because we're trying to make people interested at this stage in this product. Okay, We want to make people intrigued. We want people to want to have a look at what this product's all about. Make sure the pixel is actually linked and hit confirm. 
and this is going to create this advert for us. And here we're going to have our first cold advert created. Now I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be careful to turn this advert off straight away because I don't want this blackhead remover uh, spending money on my card first of all, but also running on my brother's uh, for Instagram account because I'll probably get a very shitty message from him very very quickly. Um, okay, so that is our cold advert created. What we're now going to do is we're going to go and create these other adverts. So we've got the warm advert and the hot advert. I'm going to blast through these because I want to make sure that we uh, yeah we're not going on for hours and hours in this video today because there's a couple more things I want to make sure we cover. So let's create these other adverts. I'm going to turn that one off there. We're going to create this. We've got the campaign. We've got conversion, and we're going to call this. Uh, we're going to call this hot conversions, right? Blackhead remover. And let's set the daily budget to £10 a day, right? Because we're going to have two adverts within this that we're going to be running. Click continue. We're going to start off and get the pixel on. Again, we want to make sure this is a purchase, guys. I'm going to blast through this one a bit more. Now, this time round, we want to make sure that we're actually using a retargeting audience, right? So... We want to be using our website visitors, right? This is we're going to be doing a website visitors, but we also want to create an audience which is actually targeting people who have watched the video. So if we go on this, we want to do create new, we want to do custom audience, we want to click video, we want to do engagement type, people who watched at least a certain amount of this video. We're going to do people who have watched at least 75% of the video and we can browse this video here and we can choose exactly what video we're talking about. So let's go over to this. And this is the blackhead video. And we're going to click confirm. So we want to target people who have watched at least 75% of this video within the last 30 days. So it has watched 75% blackhead suction within 30 days, right? And this is showing that people are interested in this product. We're creating that audience. And that is who we're going to be targeting. We can keep everything else open, right? Because we only want to be targeting, we're, we're targeting people. We don't want to narrow this down. We want to target everybody who's watched 75% of that video. Again, we'll keep the automatic placements. Click continue. And then we're going to actually have to create the creative for this video. Now, this time round, I'm going to take us over to InVideo. And we're going to create a, um, a video which is going to be really, really simple promotional video with maybe an offer for this. Because this is actually on sale right now, isn't it? Yeah, this product is on sale. So let's create a very small info video which is going to essentially uh, show that this product is on sale. So if we go over to InVideo.io... Now, again, thank you to InVideo for sponsoring this video. If you watch this channel before, you may have seen them on here before. We use these to create adverts for our clients. And all you need to do is, you do, when you log on to InVideo or when you visit the website, it's going to just bring you to this page. So you just need to create an account. So you just hit login or sign up on the top here. You can either log in with Google or you can uh, log in with Facebook. I mean, I actually, I think I'm logged in with Google, which is nice and easy. So let me just log in. And we're brought through to the InVideo database. Now, there are thousands and thousands of ready-made video templates on InVideo, which you can use. And you can use them to create, you can see Facebook stories, YouTube landscape videos, Instagram story, Facebook news feed, Instagram posts. There's loads and loads of different templates. And they're for a ton or ton of different reasons. Now, I am going to create uh, this promotional video today, which we want to we wanna have that kind of, that, that percentage off for this product. So we're going to create that. I think they upload like two to 300 new templates every single month, which is great. So there's always new ones coming up on here. We want to do Facebook newsfeed. Let's scroll down and see what we can find, which we can use today for this, uh, this ad. My internet's being a little bit slow today. So what can we find? Uh, product video ads. Okay, this is what we want, a product ad. Um, let's choose this one here. So here, let's just preview this. Now, of course, we can change any of this. You're probably looking at this thinking, okay, this is going to take a long time to edit. It really doesn't. Nice. Okay, let's do this. Will you do it square? Now, um, hint for you, if you're creating Facebook ads, always try and make the image or the video square because it's going to take up more room on the Facebook news feed. So here we are brought through to the editor. I've actually zoomed in on my screen a little bit um, because I want you to actually be able to see everything that I'm doing. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is actually change the logo. So if I go over to Kingpin uh, online, let's see if I can nick this logo. So many websites do not hide their logos. It's such a rookie error because um, you don't really want your images to be accessible. But there we go. So if we can then click on this logo and let's change this right now. So if we go over to uploads and we hit upload file and we're going to go down to kingpin here we go and we click on this and we drag it on top of there 
Yep, we have our logo here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And let's reposition it so it's nice and central. You can see we've got all these snap grids. Now, we've got this white background here, so it's a little bit, uh, a little bit unattractive. So what we're going to do is if we go there and we hit remove background, this is a brand new feature. I haven't used this before, actually. And it should, in theory, remove the background from the logo, which would be pretty cool. <laughs> Look at that, okay? I, I, it used to take me ages to do that on Photoshop. Now, we should be able to do the same thing for this handbag. So we need the actual product. Let's get the product moving in. Let's click on this right now. Can we open that image? Save image to downloads? Yes, can we? Let's have a look. Has it actually saved the correct image there? It has. Cool. So let's get that on. And let's do the exact same thing. Oh, deleted that then. Let's do the exact same thing. Let's get that product, put it on. And let's take it straight onto here so we can create this. Replace it. Amazing. Now, we don't want to stretch it. Okay, so can we crop it? Or can we... Oh, that's good. And remove the background. It should do the exact same thing as we just done with the, the, the logo. Okay. We can crop that in. We don't want that to be the whole thing. Done. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's just preview what we've got so far. Okay, nice, cool. And let's just change this to, let's change this text. It's all drag and drop. Just click on anything you want to edit. Blackhead, remover. Uh, so this is 1798. So let's just do a percentage calculator very quickly. I just want to work out what percentage is off. So this is 1798. 17, 1798, yeah. 1798. And the full price is meant to be 2361. It's a very strange price. Uh, so 78, so that actually means that it is, what, 24% off. So let's just say it's 25% off. Black hood remover. Let's change the color here. So you can see we can change any of these features over here. Let's change that text color to, let's see if we can get, find like a pink, which is similar. What is it? It's like a, it's almost like a, rose gold I'm not even sure how you can find rose gold on on a, on a color spectrum let's see if we can just we can play around this so guys you, you guys can play around with this more but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to keep it nice and nice and simple okay 25 percent off we can keep it that way bye now i don't really like that button so let's get rid of that but instead what we can do is we can go over to stickers and we should be able to find a better buy now so if we go on call to action so we've got all these preset animation Buttons, stickers, whatever you want to call them. And let's choose a better one, something more attractive. Let's choose this one now. That actually looks like a similar color scheme. So let's get rid of that. And let's delete that. Bring this. Make it bigger. Bring it over. It's in line. On reduced merchandise. On already reduced merchandise. Get rid of that. We don't need that for now. Let's make this bigger. Okay, we don't need to mess around with this. You guys can play around with this more. But if we just play the scene again, we can see what we've actually got. Okay, nicely animated, 25% off. Cool. I'm happy with that. Simple. Really, really simple. I think there's probably sound on this as well. Really, really simple. But you can play around with this more. You can make the sex a bit bolder. You can make it a little bit bigger. Whatever you want to do, you can play around with this. But simply, all we want to do is just make an advert. In this case, we're retargeting people that, that have already seen this product. So if we then hit preview and export. We should be able to export this video. And you can see how quick this is. This exports it so quickly. And guys, I'm just going to export this, download this, and then we're going to go back onto the ad manager. Now, whilst we're waiting for this to export, make sure you click the link in the description and check out InVideo. There is a free trial right now, but if you want to sign up to a premium account, use the code JP25. You'll be able to get a premium account with 25% off. 
And uh, yeah, it's, it's crazy because um, on NVIDIA, they have this media library. And this is what we utilize this the most for. It's this media library of images and videos, stock images and videos. You literally can pull in stock images, thousands of stock images and videos from all over the net, from all of these different stock websites. And I don't know if any of you guys have tried to edit videos with stock before. It's so expensive, so, so expensive, but you get it all included for free in NVIDIA, which is amazing. There's also 365 day a year support. It's 24 hours a day. Even on Christmas Day, you can get one-to-one -one support without even having to speak to a bot. So make sure you click the link in the description. Use the code JP25. As we've gone through that, uh, this video has now been done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this video, and then we're going to go back over onto Facebook, and we can actually create this ad. So here we go. We've got our ad. Nice and easy. Simple. Logo should be higher quality, but of course we don't have access to that because we're just using this website. Got that video. I'm going to go over and we are going to click add media, add video, upload. Let's get this on. Okay. Ad copy can be a little bit different. We could uh, we could, we could, could change the tonality of this a little bit. So we're going to put the website in there. Primary text this time around. Um, we can do wait no longer. Black headless. Is that even a word? For clear skin. Wait no longer for clear skin. Get. My internet's been so slow. 25% off our black head vacuum today. Right, let's do that. It's really simple. And let's do a little shocked face because this is just such a shocking offer. Headline, what is going on in my internet? 25% off. What is doing? What is happening? 25% off blackhead vacuum. Right. Cool, and in the description here we can do five. What does it say? Five suction levels. One click design. Okay, so if we want a previous ad at any time, we can click this and we can expand this and we should be able to preview this ad however we want. So here it is on mobile, here it is on desktop and this is where you can actually see that uh, description there. So we've got wait no longer for clear skin, get 25% off of blackhead removers today, 25% off blackhead remover, five suction levels, one click design. Now, one thing I want to highlight here, we're using a 25% off deal because this is what this website is doing. A lot of people think you need to add percentage off deals for your retargeting advert. It's not true. You don't have to do that at all. It just helps push people over the line. If you have a Shopify dropshipping based store, those kind of percentage off deals work really well. That being said, for 90% of the e-commerce clients that we work with in our marketing agency, we don't do promotional content, okay? All we do is just retarget them with another advert with a different bit of content, basically telling them to purchase it. I would recommend personally testing your retargeting adverts right away without having some kind of percentage of deal or free shipping or anything like that to start off with. See how your audience react to it. If you're not making sales, then try have some kind of a discount or a way to push them over the line, bundling something up with that product. But you don't want to do that if you don't have to. You could be running 25% off deals, making 100 grand a month, right? And without realizing that people would have actually bought your product without you having to do that, and, and it would have increased your top line. So make sure that you don't try and, uh, or you try and hesitate from doing promotional deals on your first retargeting advert. Try and do it without them first, and then test out some kind of promo. But we're doing it for the purpose of this product, which is listed on this website. This time around, we're not going to do a learn more. We're going to do shop now. We've got our pixel and everything set up. Hit confirm and that is this advert set up. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn that off because again, I don't want this running. But this time around on this campaign, guys, remember from this strategy, we wanna be using, we wanna have two ads on this campaign because uh, this is our hot campaign. So we're actually going to duplicate this ad. So we're gonna go on the campaign, duplicate it in the original campaign. We're gonna duplicate it, but this time around, we're gonna change the actual audience. So it's the exact same advert but we want to change the audience, okay? So what we are going to do is we want to get rid of this audience. And we want to create a new one, custom audiences. This time around, we want to go website. 
because we want to retarget website visitors in the last 30 days. Now, if you're getting loads of traffic, you could make this within the last seven days, right? So we're going to create this audience. So this is going to be 30 day web traffic. So it's the exact same advert running through to um, the a different audience. This is the 30 day website traffic and we hit publish. So technically speaking, now we have our entire strategy built out. We've got our cold strategy going through to the interest. We've got our warm audience retargeting that video. We've also got a hot audience, which is retargeting people who are visiting the website. Now, if you have a multi product store, you could create a dynamic product advert. Now that is the holy grail of, um, of uh, e-commerce ads, right? If we click create, the way we create one of these dynamic product ads, as I just show you, we cannot go through creating an entire dynamic product ad today. We simply do not have the time. It's something I cover in a lot of detail in the Affluent Academy. So make sure if you want to learn about that, you want to learn about more in detailed uh, e-commerce strategies, you go check out the Academy. But you would click Catalog Sales. You need to set up what's called a Facebook cat product catalog. So all of your products from Shopify are integrated on Facebook. So Facebook knows what products you actually have. You then go ahead with this campaign objective. And essentially that, the dynamic product ad would replace this this one here because you would still be retargeting website page visitors and add to carts but what you would be doing is the content on the ad would be dynamically updated based on what people are doing on your website so if people are looking at certain products it will show them those exact products on Facebook so if you have a multi product store I would recommend you always making sure that hot ad is a dynamic product advert so guys, that is it. That is this whole campaign. This is this whole strategy set up. A simple two campaign free advert strategy. Now, of course, there's some of you going to be thinking, well, how do I know the actual ad creatives I've used or the ad copy I've used or the audiences or the interest I've used are actually going to work? And the real answer is you do not actually know. Okay, You're not going to know that this interest or this beauty interest is going to work straight away. So what I would recommend you doing is every three days, I would recommend you going onto your adverts and having a look at how they are performing, right? Are they getting sales? Is the cost per click to per high? You want to aim for that cost per click to be below one point at one and a half dollars, ideally below a dollar, right? Even better if it's below 50 cents. So you want to be looking at your stats, working out, okay, is this ad profitable? Is it going to something I can scale up? Is it something that I can maintain long term? If it isn't, then you need to change that interest. Or if you're changing your interests and you've, you've depleted loads of interest and you're thinking, why isn't this working? You might then want to test out your different creatives, test out a different demo video, test out your different or uh, your different um, text, your ad copy that you're using. Same again for your hot stuff. You're going to have to test out, you're going to have to adapt things. Every three days, do not be inclined to create an advert and one day later, it hasn't got any purchases and start changing it because Facebook need to be able to optimize that advert. They need time to be able to work out what is working. They need to find the fish in the lake for them to keep casting again, okay? And you need to give them time to be able to find them fish. So make sure you do not mess around with your ads until, until it's like a, been a three day interval between your last changes. The final thing I just want to cover is your account overview, okay? Um, you can go on here and you can look at the age and genders of the people which are actually engaging with your adverts, which are buying your products. You can look at the reach. You can look at the purchase price. So you can really dumb down on um, on a lot of information such as the location. So you can work out what countries people are buying. If you're targeting bigger audiences, you can even look at what times of the day people are buying your products. You can also go down on individual adverts. We can cl click view charts here and we can have a look at the performance. We can look at demographics. We can look at the placement so we can look at where our adverts are being shown remember we're doing automatic placements so we can see where our adverts are converting the most is it on instagram is it on facebook is it on the sidebar okay is it on the news feed where is it and we can work that out and we can establish where we need to then better optimize our adverts and how we can then fine tune them in the future and make sure we can scale them up now talking of scaling if we want to scale touching on this briefly because i'm conscious this video has gone on for a very long time now if we want to scale let's say this cold conversion cold conversion advert is performing right now we have a couple of options there's actually four ways that we can scale but the two most simple ways covering them right now it's vertical scaling and horizontal scaling vertical scaling is simply all we'd be doing is duplicating this advert so we're on a five pound a day spend our audience is around four million people we know that, that we can sustain reaching more people because we're only going to be reaching probably around 1,000 people per day on this ad spend, right? So what we would then do is we would duplicate this ad maybe two or three times 
And we would then allow Facebook to optimize and, and find more people within that audience. That's vertical scaling. Horizontal scaling, essentially what we would be doing is we would just duplicate this advert, but to a new audience. So we know the ad creative and the copy is working, but we would duplicate it to new audiences so we can essentially allow Facebook to find new pockets of people that we can purchase this product. Now, one other way is uh, what a lot of people do is they think they can just increase the ad spend on this ad. You can only really increase an ad spend by around 20% every three days or so without screwing up the algorithm. If I change this from £5 a day to £10 a day or £20 a day, it's going to throw off the entire algorithm, okay? Because Facebook is going to be spending different amounts of money to reach the same people. And so it can screw everything up. Do not just increase the ad spend. You either have to horizontally scale or vertical scale. Now, there are other ways that you can scale much more in depth ways, literally step by step that I go through in the Affluent Academy. If you are interested, I mean, the stuff that I've covered in this video today, we've probably broken down in around 10 to 20 videos in the Affluent Academy, all of them being 15, 30 to 45 minutes long each, because we're literally going down into every single molecule of ad creation. I go into the, the, the business manager and the ad spend, okay? We dive down into exactly how much you should be spending on each product. We dive down into, I think it's like four or five different scaling strategies that we actually go through, but day by day, exactly what you should be doing. So um, yeah, I'm not I'm not using this video to plug the Affluent Academy, but if you wanna check out more stuff, if you want to learn more about how to do in-depth e-commerce adverts on Facebook, get incredible results for yourself or for your clients, go check out the Academy because they're honestly, confidently, there is no better Facebook Facebook ad training or agency based training in the world right now. It's because we, and that is why we are the only company that are confident enough to guarantee results to everybody who joins our academy. Now, finally, if you're a Shopify store and you are thinking, okay, this all sounds a little bit daunting to me. There's, uh, there's quite a lot of work I have to put in here. I'm not sure I want to run these ads myself or I have the time to run these ads myself. Then you reach out to me. Go to affluent.co. In fact, I'll show you right now. If you go over to affluent.co forward slash I'll just show you from the homepage. Affluent.co forward slash agency. Apply to work with our agency today. We are always taking on new e-commerce products. We have a belief that the secret to affluence is the fusion of world-class products with exceptional marketing. So if you're selling world-class products and you want exceptional marketers to increase your revenue level and you don't want to do this yourself, go watch the latest case study that we've created. We've created a case study which shows you literally us getting like 20, 30, 40 times return on investment for our clients or you can go to the bottom here click apply now and you can apply to work with the affluent agency and we will run the ads for you okay guys that is the end of this video i hope you have enjoyed it if you have any questions at all please do let me know again thank you so much to invideo for sponsoring this video make sure you go click the link in the description sign up to a free trial or a premium account and use the code jp25 and yeah, I think that's it. Let me know if you want some more Facebook ad-based videos. What about something like lookalike audience or custom audiences? Do you want me to create a video like that? If so, drop me down a comment below, letting me know what you would like me to create. And if it is like lookalike audience or custom audiences, please do tell me. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you've got loads of notes. You're gonna to have to watch this video on, uh, yeah, probably on 0 0.5 speed because I'm talking at a thousand miles an hour and you're probably gonna have to watch it a couple of times to get the grips of this. But I hope you have, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this and let me know what kind of results you get with this strategy because it kicks ass. We use this strategy with our clients and of course there are five, 10, 20 dozen different ad strategies that you can use for e-commerce clients like we use. But this is the most basic strategy and it really does work. So make sure you go test it out. And finally, if you do want to learn about all those other strategies, make sure you check out the Affluent Academy. That's all it for me. That's it for me. I can't even speak now. This is a, it's a bit of a mind boggle trying to put a video like this together because it's, it's hard to, uh, it's hard to get it all into a 45 hour long, 45 minute hour long video. But uh, yeah, please do make sure you're subscribed with your notification bell turned on. And I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Cheers, guys.